have a look at this question uh, read the question and try to answer it yourself first suppose full employment level of output is given to you as 680 rupees the equilibrium level of uh, output is 600 and the marginal propensity to consume is 0 0.80 full employment of output can be achieved by 16 rupees increase in government spending which are the following changes in the net lump sum tax revenues result in full employment up? so let's have a look at this so what is uh, given to you? You are given that uh, MPC is this guy, 0.8, right? So that is equal to 1 upon 1 minus C. That is your government expenditure multiplier. That is five, right? So it means that it means this. So delta y equals to five delta g, right? So it, this means this beta that if g increases by sixteen, then y increases by delta y five into sixteen. That is 80. One thing. What is given to you is that you can you can get the same effect of the tax. Uh, sorry, same effect. That is, you can have an increase in the output. The same increase in output, you can also have that with the lump sum tax. Same effect. Of increase in output. Can be achieved to lump sum tax and beta. You remember this now y is equal to c plus i plus g. Huh? You know this that I can write my uh, consumption as this thing MPC into disposable income plus i plus g. No? So I can write this as I'm just trying to explain all steps. So I'm just taking it a little longer. Avita minus c t plus i plus g. So I can write this as 1 minus c dy equals to minus c dt plus di plus dj. So if I want to find out that if the taxes are going to change, how that is going to affect the output. So dy by dt, I need to find out now. So I will be assuming or not using, just put uh, di and dg equal to zero. I'm just writing the tax multiplier. So some of you might just skip this step because uh, many of you would just know this. I'm just writing this for everyone. So it is dy by dt is minus c upon 1 minus, like this. Right, Buddha? So what you are saying is this, dy by dt is minus c upon 1 minus c. Okay. What is c? Point eight small c. It is like this. What is dy by dt? That is 80. Because you are saying that you can achieve the same effect of increase in output through the government expenditure or through the lump sum tax. So dy by dt is also, that is there. So that is what the entire question, right? Uh, so what you are saying is, increase in output is this. So what is this? 0. 0.8 upon 1 minus 0. 0.8 into delta t. So this is delta y, right? Anji Vita. So you guys can find out now what is delta t. So it is 80 equals to 0. 0.8 upon 0. 0.2 delta t. So I can find out delta t as minus 20. 
नहीं बेटा आई कैन फाइंड दिस आउट द डेल्टा टी इज माइनस ट्वेंटी सो इफ यू डिक्रीज टैक्सेस बाय ट्वेंटी यू कैन हैव द सेम इफेक्ट ऑफ इंक्रीज इन आउटपुट एज यू हैड बाय इंक्रीजिंग गवर्नमेंट एक्सपेंडिचर बाय सिक्सटीन सो दैट इज अंटी राइट ओके चलिए थैंक यू बेटा आई होप दिस वॉज यूजफुल टू यू